All right, so the first step before we go ahead and slap some pistons and rods in this engine, get a short block belt, we're going to need to clean these uh, cylinders. Um, we already honed them and all that. But before you do this, you want to make sure everything's clean. A lot of people say use a lint-free rag and some brake fluid and all that, uh, or brake clean. Um, actually, lint-free isn't always lint-free. To really get it lint-free and not have any residue, you can actually use a coffee filter. Um, works very well. Uh, my buddy Shane from Slant Daily Garage pointed this out uh, and it works really well. This and a little bit of ATF fluid. We'll probably hit a little bit of brake fluid to get the majority of out. But what you can do is you can take this and a little bit of trans fluid because that's got a detergent in there. Get in there, scrub these clean, and it doesn't leave any residue behind or, well, not really residue, but any fluffiness from any rags or any of that. You know, it's a coffee filter and it works really well. So yeah, that's a little tip that you can do is coffee filter and a little bit of ATF fluid to clean your cylinder before, before you start poking in rods and pistons. Pretty neat. All right, so if you look at that, Kyle's still cleaning on there. We're really scrubbing them really good. But um, basically what you're doing is wax on, wax off. Um, what you're doing is you're getting into the cross hatching. Like I said, we did hone that, and you're getting out all the debris. So I went and wiped it out with some uh, brake cleaner and with a microfiber, and you can see, you know, eh, nice and dirty, getting all that excess goo off there. A little bit of ATF, I went back through along with Kyle, and we, you know, did the coffee filter trick and then go back through the dry coffee filters and really get in there and scrub it yeah that's what you're removing you're removing all the dirt and stuff out of those cross hatches so when we go to assemble this we know that those are clean so when those rings start seating they'll seat correctly